Thanks for swinging by our YouTube channel. This is Kristen Posta from Solo.io. And in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at the Glue API Gateway developer portal. So if you come to glue.solo.io or docs.solo.io slash glue, you'll be taken to the documentation for the project. Glue is an Envoy-based API gateway, the best one out there. If we click on guides, we can see the guides for the developer portal. And uh, the, this guide walks you through setting it up and creating portals, creating APIs, and so forth. Everything in Glue, and therefore everything in the developer portal, is based on CRDs, is based on declarative configuration. So this means that you can add these configuration objects to your Git-based workflow, Git ops, and have a fully automated pipeline to build your developer portal and version it and so forth. So you don't require any extra databases or infrastructure to set up with developer portal, just like Glue runs natively on Kubernetes. If you run it outside of Kubernetes, then you will need to set up some sort of data store. Console is a popular choice. But if you're inside of Kubernetes, no extra data stores and everything is CRDs. So the developer portal was released in the enterprise version of Glue 1.3, which was released April 1st. And what, what we see here is actually, if we come over to the Glue dashboard, what we see here is this is this is the overall dashboard for Glue. You can see that Envoy is healthy. And if we click on our virtual services, we can see we have a few different virtual APIs that we're exposing. Pet Store is the interesting service here. If we click on Pet Store, we can see that we we've set up a, a domain and some routing for it, slash API will route to Pet Store. So if we want to actually try that out, come over here. If we curl against our pet store API, then we can see the, the response here. But what we want to do is create a portal and publish this API so others can come find it and subscribe and, and access it. So coming back here to the Glue UI, if we click on the Dev Portal tab, we can see we can specify portals as an administrator, we can kind of logically group APIs and expose them through a, um, a user interface. We can specify which APIs we'd like to manage and expose, and we can manage the users of those APIs. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new API. We have an existing Swagger doc, so if we click on create an API, we can upload our Swagger documents here and what we're going to do is try to find that doc right here. Very good, and that'll upload. We'll say next step. And so this could obviously be a URL if this is a service that has been published and Swagger's exposed. If I click next, we can upload images to give it a nice branding. We don't have any portals yet. We will create that in a second. Click next, no users, no groups. Create API. So now this will create a new API for us based on that swagger. In future versions of the Glue developer portal here, we'll see, we'll have options for more than just swagger. We'll see gRPC and we'll see others, other different API formats. But right now we have our swagger pet store. We have an API editor if we want to make any fine tune changes to it here. So now what we want to do is expose this into a developer portal. So let's look at the portals. Come over here to portals. We don't have any. Let's create a new one. We'll call this the pet store portal. We will um, make sure we get this right. We'll add a domain at which we can access this portal. Next step, upload some images again. Give it, give this portal some branding. And next, we should add our pet store swagger. 
8 based API, click next. We don't have users yet and we don't have groups. Let's just create the portal and see what we have. Very good. Now, if we come to um, as APIs here, we should see our pet store portal here. All right, so we have the, the branding that we expected. And um, if we come back over here, we can even do things like create additional documentation and static pages. So let me, let's create a, a, a getting started page. Getting started. Um, you've come, you've come here to access pet APIs, etc. Getting started. Display this on the home page. And we can even edit it and get previews of it. So welcome to pet store. Do stuff here. More here, etc. So if we want to preview it, we can see what this looks like in Markdown. If we want to publish it, we've now added, come back here to pages. We see we've added our getting started page. If I refresh the uh, the, the portal here, we can see we have our new getting started page uh, with more to come, okay? So if I click on view APIs, we won't be able to see the APIs because we're not logged in. So let's create users to enable us to log in. So Christian at solo.io, super secret password. Next, we don't have any groups right now, but we could create groups of users and assign them to portals and APIs. We will give access to pet store, portal and API. I'm gonna click create user. That should give me a now a new user. Hopefully, there we go. Now, if I come over here and click log in, let's try to log in. Log in. Um, it ge auto generated a password for me, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to change that on first login. There we go. So now we're logged into the portal. If I click View APIs, we see our Swagger Pet Store APIs with four different endpoints. Now I can click into this API, and you get the basic uh, Swagger based API documentation that you would expect. You can see the different endpoints in this API. You can even test out the API. So if I click try it out and execute, we should see uh, how, how to call the API as well as a successful response. So that's all good and well. Now, anyone can call this API as we saw. I come over here I can copy that that command and, and run it. And anyone can run this API, which is not what we want. We want to allow the, the gateway and the API developer portal to track who uses this. And one of the options is through API developer keys. We don't have a key, so let's create uh, key scopes, which allow us to group keys together and assign the um, ability for different APIs and different portals to share the same keys if if desired. So if I click on key scope, we'll call this the pet store key scope. This will be part of the pet store portal next step. We'll add the API to this key scope and now create that we should see our key scope here. Before we continue, right now what we've done is we've, we've added key scopes but what we want to do is tie the enforcement to the gateway. So for example, let's look at uh, an, an author. So this, this follows, if you just come over here to the glue documentation, if we look at API keys. Now this is, you can do API key uh, authorization, authentication with or without the portal. So this is, this is core glue functionality here. And if you come here, you can you can see exactly how to, what we have to do is we have to set up the auth, auth config and then add that to the virtual, uh, the, the virtual service here. 
right? And so that's what we'll do here. We see our auth config. Let's actually apply it. And then let's take a look at the virtual service. We are referring to that auth config here. And let's apply that. So now if we were to try to curl that endpoint, we should get, let's do that for both. We should see that we get challenged and we get rejected because we don't have an API key. We didn't pass that in with, with the, um, with the request here. So let's now create an API key and try to use it. So as a user here, coming back to the portal, I can click on my name and I can click on API keys. So click on API keys and let's generate a new API key. Yep, generate the key. So there we go. Now we have a new API key and we can use this when we call the API. If we come back here to our APIs, hit store swagger and try to call pets again, like we did previously, we should see that it fails. We should see the, the 403 forbidden. But what we wanna do is we want to add that API key as part of a call in our test here. Before we do that, we wanna enable that. If we come here to the dev portal and click on the APIs itself, we can come over here. Let's add, there is a snippet, oops. There is a snippet of, let's go over here, dev portal that we wanna add as a snippet here that we wanna to add to the swagger that allows us to do that. It is this part right here. So let's open our API editor. Let's find this stanza here. Let's add, so basically this says Let's add an option in the Swagger or in the Open API um, UI to add a header called API key that will transmit the or allow us to transfer the API keys along with our call. So we published that. Let's come back here and do a refresh. Now we see this little this little secure icon. If I click on that, oops, let's get our API key first. Come back to our API keys, show, let's grab that. Back to APIs, pet store, default pets. And let's authorize this by passing in the header there. And now if we call it, it should, it should work. Hit execute and, oh, what? We still see that it's forbidden here, let's, Try that, nope. All right, well, uh, you get a added bonus here because now you're gonna see me debug it. So we created that key. If we look in here, we see our key. Okay, that looks correct. So let's get that key, take a look at it. There is the API key that we used. Is that, was that correct? No. Let's make sure we copy and pasted it correctly. That's always the first step. Over here, copy, oops, let's show it. Copy and paste it, do that. Let's see. Let's try that one more time. So, okay, still forbidden. All right, so that is the API key. We see the labels here. Pet store, that actually all looks good. Let's take a look at our portals. As you can see, this is all CRDs. So we can do that, make sure that our labels line up. Oh, that's for the docs. 
there. Make sure that lines up with Oh, you know what? You know what I did not do? Oh, no, I did. Um, and that lines up with that. Yep, let's see. Let's give it one more try. All right, now it seems to be working. I think I got a little bit of a, a delay in the config. And let's refresh. If I come here, default pets. Let's grab the key again. Oh, try it out. It's cute. Okay, there we go. So it took a second for the for the config to propagate, but what we see now is we have self sign up uh, for API keys for our developer portal. We have the documentation for our API, as well as a way to, through the administration interface, group and create portals and APIs along with users. So I highly recommend coming checking this out for yourself. Come to uh, glue.solo.io and that'll take you to these, these docs here. And stop by solo.io, we're doing a lot of interesting things around not just API gateways, but service mesh and managing service mesh across multiple clusters, any type of service mesh. Um, so come, come take a look. Thanks for joining.